What's good, y'all? Hey, I want to share my experience with NBA 2K23. As if you don't know the news already that everybody know, I was invited to um, NBA 2K Community Day, and um, it was an amazing experience. Shout out to 2K for inviting me. I'm going to be able to release footage um, here real soon of gameplay, builds, badges, tutorials, everything that you need to know about NBA 2K23. But before we get into this banger, all right, make sure that you like up make sure you subscribe because we're going for 100k subs this year all right for nba 2k 23 so make sure that you sub up so you can stay tuned and um you actually get the official news from somebody that actually played the game early before everybody else all right so one thing that i noticed okay about nba 2k 23 is it did not feel like any other 2k okay it did not feel like any other 2k um and what i mean by that was you could tell that it wasn't copy and pasted you could tell that the game was very very detailed put into and i would say this i think they've been working on this for about a year or two because literally there was not really no glitches at all with the game at all there was no glitches there was no glitches on defense there was no glitches in dribbling there was no glitches in builds seriously i noticed that everybody was just stunned because we thought we was going to find some type of glitch like in bills or something it was so well balanced it was amazing like no more of being like steph curry and vince carr at the same time like this year i must say you really have to choose what you want to do and i see a lot of positions and a lot of bills coming back that was probably irrelevant last year is going to be relevant this year and what i mean by that is like sharpshooters for instance sharpshooters this year really you really did not have to use them like because you can make a playmaking shot career they can get the same amount of ratings of a sharpshooter but be able to dribble and do everything else but this year <laughs> you're gonna have to pick what you want to do and i'm not laughing because i'm laughing like the game is terrible or nothing no it's not terrible at all i'm going to go ahead and say this right now i feel like nba 2k 23 is going to be the best game ever of nba 2k and just just out of all the games that have came out with 2k i can't talk about 24 can't talk about 2k 25 i'm talking about 2k 23 and all down from all the other 2Ks to come out. This is the best one. And the reason why I say that is because when I was dribbling, I felt like it was harder to dribble, but I felt like you had to combo dribble. And that's big. I'm not gonna lie to you, the dribbling felt a little bit like 17, 17 and 16. And remember, cause that was like when you had the combo dribble. And when you do get an ankle breaker, and when you do get a good move off, you know it wasn't by accident. What's so crazy is you cannot dribble this year and it be an accident. <laughs> you know, like you do a move off of an accident. Like you had to, you when you you knew when you got that move off or when a person got that move off, they knew exactly what they was doing because that's how timing and sensitive the dribbling was. It was all about timing. If I sat here and tried to just flick the stump stick everywhere in any direction, it wouldn't give me what I wanted. Like it, it would put me in a bad position. It wouldn't give me what I wanted. It almost like penalized me. But when I was able to do combos and I got it off right, let's say if I hit down, left, and then right, literally the move I did was so nice and so amazing. I'm gonna be able to show it in gameplay wise. But the reason why it was so nice and so amazing because I knew I was able to do that. And the game rewarded me for dribbling like that. Another thing I noticed too, there was a hundred creators in that room and all them hundred creators either did builders, my team, park, okay? And you can tell for, you could just tell, like everybody was looking at everybody was like, bro, did anybody find any cheat codes? Did anybody find like any, you know op bills like we went to the power four position we couldn't find an op bill in the power four position 
like there was some there were some good positions like the power four position gave us some good stats but at the same time you notice a difference like if you was trying to make that build be a guard from being a point guard also too we try i tried the um the you know the centers the point guards as well too and in the shooting guard position and different positions that following 2ks like this year and other 2ks give you more badges no everything was well balanced i'm gonna tell you this right now you're gonna see some people out here with handles for days you're gonna see some people out here without handles for days and i think that this is a good thing because it brings versatility to the game so if if everybody don't have the same badges but let's say these few amount badges work for you and people see you're doing good they're gonna go with that and then other people are gonna be like no nah, i need handles for days i'm gonna go with handles for days and i'm gonna go with this option there were so many options to come out of of how your player was going to be it was crazy and the names for the bills are totally different too it was amazing of the new names that was coming out for the bills so it was so many things that i saw in this game but the most thing i was very very excited about was defense defense felt so amazing i even test out defense without strength and i'm gonna tell you this right now guards Guards, if you're trying to make a playmaker shot creator, if you're trying to make a sharpshooter, whatever you're trying to make as a guard, and you want to be able to play defense, you got to have some type of strength. Now, your strength can go up to a 92. Um, you can go up, you can put your strength to a 92. You can put your strength where you want to. But you got to have a balance in everything because let's say you put your strength to 92 or 99 or whatever like that, then you're gonna lose some stats in other positions and then you're gonna be able to not balance. It's crazy, you're gonna have to see for yourself. So one thing I noticed is, if you got like a 70 strength or or higher or something like that, you really notice the difference. And the, highest the, strength, the higher the strength you have, you really notice the difference in like defense wise. I built the guard without strength and I couldn't really do anything with that guy. Like literally I couldn't stop my guy. I couldn't just because I have badges, I couldn't stop my guy. It, it just wasn't working. So strength matters in the game. Definitely. And I even created the center with strength. And I'm going to say this, and y'all know I always say, and this is so funny, I always be like, man, you know what? Don't make shoot, don't make bills that can't shoot. I, you know, I need to build, man, I ain't going to lie. This year, paint beasts are coming back too. I see my paint beasts coming back too, because I'm going to tell you this. If you don't have strength with a center, you're going to fail at the game. If you don't have interior with a center, you're going to fail at the game. It's important that you get with your friends and y'all come together and y'all say, okay, this is going to be my center. This is going to be my point guard. This is going to be my shooting guard, small forward or whatever like that. Three point guards on the floor this year going to get destroyed if the right team come up. And I'm telling you this right now, I, I see it happening. So what I want to do is I want to save y'all the time of spending money and, you know, not making the right bills. I'm going to show you everything when when these dates come out, when I'm able to release this, when I'm able to release this, I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to show you what it how it feels to not have strength, how it feels to have strength. Also, too, badge wise. How it feels to have all silver, bronze, and gold badges in Hall of Fame. I created builds with builds that had all silver badges, and I'm not gonna lie to you. The silver badges felt really, really good. Silver badges almost felt like gold badges and Hall of Fame badges if I didn't know it. That's how good 2K has really did in this, man. This is how good 2K really done because you really don't feel the difference. You really didn't feel the difference. Um, but the badges of gold and Hall of Fame, you felt different too. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just laughing because I'm excited about what 2K has done because I'm telling you, I know y'all gonna feel like this. A lot of people are not going to like what they see, but a lot of people are gonna like what they see. And I just, I see it. Like I, I definitely see it. So I'm telling you, like if you, if you're, if you love competition, if you love being comp, if you want to stand out in the game, watch my channel. This will definitely help you. And I would definitely give you all the news I can 
to help you in NBA 2K23. Um, I'm going to say this. For the dates, I'm able to release the Jordan Child September the 5th. September 6th, I'm able to release, le- release my player builds. And then September 8th, I'm able to release the Jordan Challenge uh, remaining um, um, 12 challenges that I'm able to uh, release too as well. So I'm going to be releasing a lot of things, man. And like I said, this content is going to be very, very helpful to y'all because, man, NBA 2K23 is really, really amazing game. It felt rewarding. It felt rewarding on defense. It just felt so good. It really, really did. So look, man, I'm going to tell you, nobody was able to break the game, man. Everybody was there that would that was should be. Everybody was there that should have been there. Seriously. Um, you know, I know there was a lot of people that didn't get a chance to make it, but it was a lot of people that was there that was classified people and they couldn't break the game. None of us could. So, um, y'all make sure y'all like up, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications. Um, if y'all want anything y'all want me to talk about, um, specifically, leave a comment in the comment section and, um, go to my TikTok and I may answer some of them on my TikTok as well. So look, I appreciate y'all. It's your boy King Jordan and we out. Let's go.